YouTube. Welcome to the Extra One Workshop. I got another quick mod for y'all. Um, last night I put up a video about the uh, spool that I made, but I forgot to show y'all the pieces that I made to get the gapping. Um, so what I'm going to show you is the gap between here to here. I used two of these washers right here. These washers sometimes you can find in between the caster blocks of a of a, a, a rustler or you can also find them inside of a rustler transmission if you know what these little washers are they, they look like they're not made of uh, metal they're made of like some type of plastic kind of flexi um, you can just order you a pack of these so what it is is after the main bearing I got one two of these and then one of the front bearings from a rustler to give you this gap right here on this side I have one or two of these you gotta figure it out it's, it's one or two of them and I have one of these washers right here alright so what it is is this side right here you got where is it at? this side right here you got one two of these and then you have this bearing that'll give you the gap right from here to here then in, in between I have maybe one or two of these and this washer right here this washer you can go to Lowe's hardware go to Lowe's and get you a pack of these you see it's number 10 just go in the aisle where they got the bolts screws and washers and stuff like that you can get you a pack of these um, that'll be a perfect hole to put <coughs> on this side and that will keep this uh, plastic piece from rubbing against the um, against the, the pinion and uh, if you do that you should have the distance that you need between this and that and you should be fine after that um, I also I didn't butt this up tight against the uh, the bearings or whatever's in here I got like a, a little tiny hair gap just to give it some wiggle room to keep down the um, the friction or whatever um, the same here with this is not butted up tight against the bearing. It's just a little tiny gap. I mean, like a hair, just a little bit, just to keep you know the friction and stuff down. Um, so that's it. I felt bad. I, you know, I left you guys hanging. I didn't tell you what I used to get that gap. Um, for you guys who know about it, you know what to do. But for the amateur dudes like myself who really don't know what to do, um, that's all you got to do. Remember, these things come out of a transmission of a uh, rustler and here's a rustler bearing for the front the front hub that's a rustler bearing that I'm using right here this is a rustler bearing so you got two of those washers rustler bearing that goes against this side of the pinion and that'll give you your gap from there to there and on the other side I got about maybe one or two of these same little washers and one of these washers and that will give you the gap that you need to keep this uh, pinion from hitting this plastic piece it should be perfect at that point but make sure that your, your five millimeter uh, spool rod is long enough so you're gonna have to kind of slide this stuff back and forth so you can get good distance between this you need to have that play right there so make sure you make your spool long enough because if everything is jammed up in the front and this is pushed tight you're gonna have to take the spool uh, um, uh, shaft and you're going to have to push it back this way. All right. It can't be too long. It can't be too short. But you need to make it whereas though you can have some wiggle room on there. Um, I think the guy named is Leo. He said it's like 50 millimeters. And I'm pretty sure that he's exact. So if you have a measurement tool that you can measure the shaft to be 50 millimeters, you'll be on point. You won't have to worry about it. You'll have the wiggle room. Um, this, the pinion and that, I kind of left it loose so I can slide that thing back and forth to kind of you know know where I'm going to be when I found out my spot then I went and tightened everything down and just put it in all right all right guys peace out